moving on to the back we're gonna start off with our note guard all the way open and we're gonna continue to use our lever to blend out that initial guideline Now we're moving on to our one guard all the way open to create our third guideline and we're also going to use the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our tool guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. This is right above the occipital bone, so we want to make sure we spend more time here. Now we're using our clipper of a coat method to debulk and make sure our silhouette is nice and smooth. We're also making sure we use our horizontal cuts to debulk and our vertical cuts to blend. Before we line him up, we're going to make sure we separate the baby hairs from his top hair and make sure they're nice and laid down. I'm also debulking them with the one guard all the way open. Sometimes if the one guard all the way open doesn't work, you can close the lever a little bit. Now we can move on to our go to effects and start off at the middle working our way to the sides. We're also going to make sure we go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer because if not then you won't line them up properly. As you can see, after he's done coughing, <laughs> that the fade is coming together and it's starting to look real sharp and nice and smooth. Now that we're done lining him up, it reveals a few guidelines, so we're going to go back to the fade in detail. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right side, but before we do that, we're going to detail the fade a little bit.
You always want to make sure you keep the vertical bars as natural as possible. You don't want to make them too pointy and push them in too much. Remember, I'm making sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. If you go too fast, then it won't work properly. Now that we're done detailing and fading the sides, we can move on to the top and create our first guideline in the top of the capitis, working our way to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, leave a follow down below on my Instagram. Now that we're done cutting the top, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. You always want to make sure you stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand and keep the razor at a 45 degree angle. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. 